So in light of everything that has been going on in the world lately, I have caught myself watching a stupid amount of YouTube videos, but that was typical behavior for me. So I've been obsessing over these Vogue Get Ready With Me videos and I thought I would attempt to do one myself. How I start my day, I always usually have very crazy hair, but I try to make myself not look insane. So I have to now clip my bangs out of the way because I would get makeup in it if not. So I always start with my toner, it is Witch Hazel. This one's by Dickinson's and it has a rose in it. So I just take a little cotton round. So this will help just get any excess dirt, oil, makeup, moisturizer, anything off your face that caught on your face at night. Sometimes I just have like old makeup or something that just won't come off of my face. And then I go in with a moisturizer, just any light moisturizer in the morning for me. This is Bio Elements Absolute Moisture. It's lightweight, so I just got this one. I've actually been really liking it. So I let that sit in for just a second to kind of absorb into my face. So I'm kind of in the market for a new foundation if anybody has any recommendations, but I have been sticking to the Healthy Foundation by Physicians Formula for a while. Then it has this really awesome tip, so you just kind of go in. Sometimes I will take my stippling brush, this is by Inica, I'm obsessed, but I'll just take a little bit um, of moisturizer and I'll just mix that in. I have probably done my makeup every day since I was like 13 maybe younger. I have always been around like the beauty industry because my mom does hair and makeup. She used to do makeup on models for photo shoots when I was younger and I would go with her and yeah she was just always like super into beauty and I think it just naturally rubbed off on me. So I think that this is discontinued um, or something because I've not seen it since, but you know, my little handy dandy old um, concealer that I've had forever. It's by Makeup Forever. It's Ultra HD. This guy is amazing. So I'm going to take my little beauty blender and I'm going to go under my eyes. So when I'm doing a photo shoot, I'm really big on using the concealer um, heavily and I really, I will like layer it on because I find that it is like really good in post so you don't really have to edit out my skin or anything. I'm really big on my skin looking good on any kind of photo shoot that I do because I hate when I get the photos back, but like my skin, it looks terrible. So I've kind of just learned like what to do. So next I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I have used this for years. It's just the Anastasia Beverly Hills Medium Brown. Um, it's a powder. I like powders. I know that there's like gels and pencils and stuff, but I just feel personally like I can get more of a like hair look, I guess, with it and I can blend it a little bit better. So I have the Anastasia brush as well, but it broke. <laughs> so 
yeah, that's not cute. So I still at least have a spoolie. So I usually will start by just brushing my brows up. I'm starting with the darker today. And I just will go in and I will draw a straight line. And I do that because I started seeing all of like the celebrities and stuff with super straight eyebrows, like Kendall. And I was like, oh, I need straight eyebrows. And I usually will brush them as I go too, so that it's just as blended as can be. So I definitely take the longest on my brows. I think I just realized that. <laughs> I primarily do hair all day in a salon, so I have to kind of make sure that my makeup will last all day because sometimes I can be there for like 12 hours. So another step I usually would do right when I do skin is I use a little balm.com by Glossier. So this is the part that usually makes me run late. I have to decide what I wanna do with my eyes. So right now I think I'm going to do a more natural-ish look. My kind of natural, which is probably much different than a lot of people's natural. So I've been really into doing a brown eyeliner because it's so much softer on your skin. You can blend it out. When it fades during the day, it's not like this harsh black that's fading and looking weird. It's just like a nice, brown um so for my skin i this is just a like a normal pencil by Inica. i really love them though they're a really awesome brand they are vegan cruelty free all the things and um this is just like a normal brown pencil so when i'm going in my eye i will hold it and i will always start on this corner and then i go It really doesn't matter how crazy it can look at first because a Q-tip is my best friend and you can just Q-tip the excess away. So I usually aim to just do like up until the middle, not the whole thing because if I do the whole thing, it's crazy. Also, I would never do this on a client, but I'm doing it on myself. I'm disgusting, but I'll just take it. I've been obsessing over this since I got it. It is my favorite neutral palette. It's so small and amazing for my skin tone. Um, so typically I'll go in with this color first. It's cocoa. And I will take my favorite brush, which is my Morphe brush. And I go right there. So I'm always focusing like the darker amount on the side. And I don't necessarily want it to exactly touch the eyeliner, but just about. And then I like this rose color. So I'll take this rose color and I will go just above. And then I will take this and kind of just go under a little bit. This is one of my blending brushes. So I love any color that's like vanilla like this. I have a couple of them because I just always use them. Blending is like the key for me. So I will take this and load my brush and just start right here. Well, so it's a lot more blended now. So I can take, I love like this cookie dough color a lot too. It's like tan, it's a lot tanner than me, but I can still blend with it and it'll kind of look not too intense. I really like this glazed color right here, um, but I think I'm going to dip into this new NARS palette that my girlfriend got me. I'm 
obsessed with it, but it's so much glitter that every day I just want to put on new glitter. So I've been trying to calm down with it. Not today. Today we're gonna just go for it. I will take this and I will put it on my eyelid. Cool. So then I will go back with my other palette. I just wanted to show the off that palette because I love it. Um, and I'm gonna do the glazed color just in the corner right here. So then I will go and I will clean up the corners of my eyes. So it looks a lot more precise versus like crazy and all over the place. This is my favorite mascara ever. It's called Perversion by Urban Decay. So I'm gonna go in with this guy on my top lashes. So now I'm going to do my cheeks. I've been trying to work with this. It's like kind of like a bronze. Um, I think I'm gonna do this because it looks a little bit more natural. And I will start right here on my cheeks. And I usually make like the shape going up the side of my temple just slightly. So then I will go in with my same brush and I will use my Inica Organics um, Illuminator. This one is to the pan, as they say. <laughs> so I will just put a little on my brush and I'll kind of just go right here. And then I'll take just a little bit and do it on my nose and on my cupid's bow. Then I'm going to do my lips. So lately I've just been using um, a liner in the mornings. Um, and later on I'll go in with like a lipstick. And my last step is I will take, um, this is called Nico. Yeah, it's Nico by NARS. And I think it was like advertised as a blush. And I use it as a powder because this is not blush to me. <laughs> so I'll just take my really fluffy brush and I will just kind of set my makeup. So for under my eyes, I will usually try to take like a more dried out mascara or a smaller brush mascara. So this one I got as a sample, it's Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. So I'm just gonna take this and just lightly go under my eye. And last but not least, I will take my Mario Badassia Spray. This is the Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. Everyone knows this spray. And I will just mist myself a little bit. And yeah, take out my bangs that are probably creased and look crazy. I know it might seem like a lot, but I do hair and makeup, so I have to look like I do hair and makeup and can't look too undone all the time. So yeah, I hope that you guys liked watching me do my everyday makeup and I hope you learned something and that it was a little entertaining for you in this crazy quiet time so if you have any other questions and want to know like all my beauty products and everything I will totally message you them but thank you for watching and yeah stay inside <laughs>